what's up ladies and gentlemen of youtube i'm Preston and today i shall be bringing forth to you another video about doom this time around it shall be a video of doom with mods installed um so these mods completely change the way how you look at and play the game uh they are they are a game changer and um before i get to the actual gameplay itself i'm going to be showing you how to install these mods um before you start off with anything, obviously you need to have the game installed and you need to install two other applications called Xandranum and you need to download another software called GZ2 which is just a WinRAR file or a RAR file which you need to extract. So I'm going to be showing you how to install these mods. So here I have Xandranum installed and here is GZ2. I'm still be posting a link for all these in the, in the description below. So, and I have the list of downloaded mods. So, what I need to be doing is copy GZ Doom files onto Xandranum, which I installed. Since I already uh, pasted it before, it, it asks me to replace the files. So I just, I'm just going to go ahead and replace them, and. Um, these are the list of downloaded mods so I'm going to be talking a little about these mods not too much in detail uh, project brutality is the main mod for this game uh, what it does is um, it adds a ton of new weapons um, it even adds aim down sights for certain of the weapons it has the reloading function uh, it comes and it had it adds a lot of gore and blood to the game um, you can always wish to turn it off if you don't like them, but what's the point? The main point, uh, the fun of the game is in the core of this game. So yeah, uh, this is the main mod of the game, Project Brutality. And after this, you have uh, the Doom Metal mod, which is the background music, background theme music for this game, um, which is really, really cool. Um, and other than that, you have the Visor mods, which is the majority of your HUD it shows your ammo, it shows your um, health, etc. And uh, all these are shown in your visor or a helmet that you're wearing. Uh, you'll know when, when you watch the gameplay. So, so yeah, what I'm going to be doing is copying all these mods and pasting them in the Xandranum folder where I also have GZ Doom files. So once I have all these files copied in the same folder, Xandranum, GZ Doom, and the list of downloaded mods, I need to be selecting these mods and dragging and dropping them onto GZ Doom executable. Oh, one more thing, one more key thing which I forgot to mention. You need to browse to the game directory. Mine is here. And uh, you need to uh, look for this folder called wads. And copy these wad files, which are like the executable files for this game. Back then in 1993, there were no EXE files, I guess. So you need to copy these wad files and you need to paste them here in this Xandranum directory. So again, to uh, recoup you need to have Xandram installed you need to uh, uh, drag and drop the GZ Doom files the downloaded mod files and the Doom what files or the executable files so once you have, or have all of them select the mods in this order project brutality metal where is it yeah um, then the mod files in this order all the mod files were in order A, B, C, D, so I'm going to just copy them A, B, C, D and um, drag and drop them into GC Doom and it should run the game. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to shut up and let you guys enjoy the gameplay video. So are you guys ready? Let's go.
So I need to configure a little of these options. Uh, not able to move the mouse needs to be always mouse look on. All right. And uh, customize mouse options. I'm gonna tune these down because the sensitivity I feel is too high for my my liking. So that's about it guys, um, hope this video helped and I do uh, urge you guys to go and check out this game. Uh, it's really, uh, it plays much better than uh, what it actually looks, it actually looks and feels much better than the original game and uh, uh, definitely give this game a 10 out of 10, go ahead and uh, download this game, it's not, not really a big game, it's like 40 MB in size because it's a really old game, these mods actually take you on uh, more download space than actual game. Anyways, um, I hope you you guys like this video. So, see you all.